Hello, hello, and welcome to AP Vanilla Episode 3. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. It's a weird little introduction there. All right, so yeah, I was just hanging out down in my slime farm while I, uh, while I AFK'd a little bit down there, and then the server reset right when I was about to start recording. So yeah, this is, this is, this is going well so far. All right, so welcome back, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of look around and see if anything has been updated on this map over here. Then I'm going to go check out and see if I sold any of those uh, Blends passes over there, and... This doesn't look a whole lot different, so let's go check out the thing. And yeah, we are going to do a lot of work today, I believe. Um, where is... Where's my boat? Where did I leave my boat? My boat over here? There's my boat. All right. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of work done with villagers today. We plan on making a villager breeder and then a villager... Uh, um, like an iron farm and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's going to be good stuff. Okay, and on the way over there, we got a little bit of additions here. Um, I've actually put a, a sign up on the message board saying that I needed some help putting in a graveyard and that kind of stuff. And XP Eve actually was kind enough to help with this. Can't even jump up here, but yeah, that looks awesome. Look at that. That is a head hanging on a chain. That's pretty cool. You got heads all over the place. You got some nice pumpkins. Nice. <laughs> I like it. That's really cool. Did a really good job with that. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Uh, cobwebs into the chest. I can build stuff. Nothing. Anything you want. Cool. All right. Yeah. Creeper wants to help too. And then maybe a willow tree. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. I don't think anybody's done anything with the, uh, with the stuff up here. I think he said he put cobwebs in here, which is nice. Mm, different chest must be. <laughs> Let's go take a look out here. Oh, I didn't even see that there was a chest here. Derp. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let me message uh, let me message them back and uh, let XP Eve know that I really like like what she's done over here. All right, first of all, let's see if there's anything else new on here. Nope, that's just my little note on there that I put on there. And let's see. Oh my God, they're all gone. Oh, <laughs> they're all gone. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so that went real quick. Oof. All right. Three people are going to be, um, are going to be getting, getting in all my stuff. That's awesome. And this looks a little different. This is, this might be a spoiler. I don't want to show too much. All right. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I, I don't know if I want to sell any more on that or not, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, get some armor. Okay. This is the start of my, uh, my farm here. Sorry. I got to forgot to put this part right here. If I can reach it. There we go. There we go. Now, this is the start of my village breeder. Now, uh, I've done this one a few, uh, you know, a bunch of times. We got a whole uh, tutorial on this and everything. But yeah, you uh, have uh, the villages in here and they've got eight beds and there's going to be four villagers. So they can each have two kids a day, whatever. And then uh, these are going to be opened up eventually once I have the four villagers in here. And then the kids are going to drop down there when they try to go to bed at night. And they are going to get flushed down this thing over here. There we go. Yeah, so they will get flushed down this, and I can go ahead and open this back up here. And then they're just going to pop over here, and then down here I'm going to have a whole mechanism where I can get them out onto uh, uh, carts and everything, like a railroad, or railroad, <laughs> the mine carts and everything like that. So I just got to finish that part up and then get some, uh, get the villagers in there. I've got two sitting over there, so I've got to put two in there and have them both have babies. So i got to wait a few, you know, a uh, eh, half hour, hour, whatever. I don't know how long it takes. What is it, 20 minutes every time they can have a kid or something like that? Or 10 minutes maybe? But yeah, I got to do that. I got to put the uh, the carrots in there. And then um, I'm going to get a uh, iron farm garden started right after that. So let me go ahead and grab these guys real quick. All right. I'm going to go fill that up and then try to finish this real quick and then uh, get it started and see how it goes. Okay. As of right now, I don't have anywhere near enough iron to actually build the rest of this. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like this. And I'm going to get some glass. Actually, I don't have any glass on me. But I'm going to put some glass right there so I can see when I've got some villagers once I get that started. And that way we can start working on an iron farm once we got these guys going. So I need to just get these guys into this farm over here and uh, let them do their thing for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, well, I got the villager breeder working and it's just down here. And I haven't put in this little mechanism yet because I don't have any of this stuff. But I've definitely got some. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up here a little bit and just to see what we got. I got two down there right now. I don't know how many more children are up top, but I accidentally let uh, three of them out and now they're starting to produce babies too. So I'm going to have a bunch of villagers kind of running around over here, which is okay, I guess. Um, I've also got the uh, 
the golem right over here, but I'm starting to work on my iron farm over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on that. I just need to get some, a uh, little bit more supplies, probably get some more stone, which I should probably start digging out maybe some more of the, uh, slime farm down there just to get more of that stone. I think that would work out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep now. Well, when I can, and then I'm going to go ahead and start digging out some of that, uh, slime farm and just maybe make that a little bit better. And then I'm going to start building up this iron farm. Well, I'm pretty sure all of my villagers are dead or they just ran away. Also, I lost a bunch of crops here. <laughs> um, it was night and then a, a drowned showed up and he had a trade it with him and I'm pretty sure he killed everything you can see. So that sucked, but whatever. I've got plenty down there, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff done between that last clip and this clip. Um, it has been a few days and I did quite a bit and starting with this one right here. You can kind of see what else I've done in the background there. But yeah, this is a really, uh, it's, it's not a finished product. It's just I didn't have enough stuff to make it. But this is my flower farm because I am going into business with, uh, with Shadow Fox. This one is not at all done and it's super loud. So I'll make sure I got to remember to turn off the sound or turn it down when we go do this. But yeah, you just need to run around right now and get all this stuff and then, and then turn it off. There we go. Takes a second for it to stop. And after you collect everything, all the things that you're not going to use, I'm just throwing them in here and it turns it back into a uh, bone meal. So it kind of reuses some of it because we have the uh, two tall flowers that we're using. So we don't really need all of the colors in this. Like, let's see, I don't need yellow. I don't need red. Don't need the seeds. We don't need pink. Yeah, we need basically need orange and blue out of this one. And then there's a light gray one as well, which I don't have any in there, but we didn't get any, unfortunately, with that one. But uh, yeah, so this is working out here and then just this normal... Uh, a single, um, uh, what's it called? The, the two tall flower thing. You just put bone meal in there and yeah, it, that one's pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and keep that stuff for now. I'm going to throw these back in here real quick. Oh, white tulip. I need that too. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the light gray one I was talking about. Anyway, so we did this and then right over there is a uh, mob farm. Uh, that is working pretty good, except there's a lot of people that are online right now. So the, the rates aren't the greatest. And I didn't do any sort of uh, sorting system on there yet. And then over here is actually a nim another Nimbon design. Uh, that one's a Nimbon design. And I think this one is an Il Mango, but I'm not quite done with it yet. So right now it's just kind of my own little thing, but it's mostly an Il Mango design right now. Uh, but yeah, this iron farm right here, uh, it's not done, but I definitely got a good start on it. I also uh, did one of my own iron farms just for a little bit, but the zombie just kept disappearing. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, some kind of some kind of flaw. He was uh, name tagged and everything, but it wasn't working. But yeah, over here I've got this nine thousand per hour iron farm, and right now I'm just this isn't obviously done. I'm trying to get all of the uh, villages in there, but that's taking forever, and I got a lot of stuff I got to do on camera, so didn't really want to do that all day. Uh, I spent a c couple of hours building this already. It's almost done, except for the villagers and the. Uh, I need to get the uh, uh, the thing. The um, what's it called? The pillager. I need to get a pillager for it too, so that's going to be a little tricky, but yeah, we'll do that. I made this big uh, wheat farm for something I'm going to show you in just a little bit here. But yeah, this is the mob farm, and it works really, really good. Haven't done a whole lot else around here. Um, I definitely need uh, I need to start making a storage soon because right now it's just a mess. It's just, this is this is just an absolute nightmare. I got crap all over the place. I need to, I need to sort it out. Um, yeah, so we're going to work on that a little bit. Probably not at all today. Um, and then over here... I was AFKing, and then when I, you know, come back to the computer, I saw this thing right here. So I didn't want to open it until, uh, until I got on camera here. I know what it is because I saw it in uh, Thrillash and uh, Shadow Fox's video. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to take a look at this. So kind of hard to see because this, this wall is in the way here, but that's a cow head on there. And that's a, a statue right now. But all this stuff is in there. And let's go ahead and read that book. All right, Blends, you've been chosen by the great cow and blessed with great fortune and logs. Wear this sacrificial cow's head and become one of the chosen. Now you must complete these small tasks if you... Oops, I typed in there. <laughs> complete these small tasks if you wish to stay in the great cow's good books. Build a small statue for the great cow over the haunted house near the shopping district. You must induct another member of the server into the great cow clan. It's totally not a cult. To do this, visit them while wearing a cow head and provide them with a gift. Once you once done, leave a message that a great cow will visit them soon and give them a task. Once done, you may leave a small cow effigy at their base with a random task for them to complete. Also, leave them a cow's head so they can uh, accept the invitation to our not secret or to our secret not cult. Moo the great cow. Yeah. So we apparently are in uh, a, a not a cult. 
not a cult right now with Shadow and Thrillash, which is not a cult, so I don't know what the big deal is. So yeah, so we are going to have to build a, build a cow over there, and I have an idea for it, and we're going to head over to the Haunted District uh, right now after I get a couple of supplies, and we're going to work on that a little bit, and I'm going to show you everything else that has actually been going on at the Haunted District. Now, XP and Creeper and I think Chop Chop were all over there doing a whole bunch of stuff in that little haunted area. And uh, it's looking so much better right now. And there's a lot more to come. And I need to do a little bit in there, too. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. Um, but I need to get a few of these things. And yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna gather some materials and then we'll be right over there. Oh, also on the way. Um, yeah, I did a lot of work on the slime farm. So that is running a lot better now. Definitely doesn't uh, have a collection system really in place yet. It's just still the the, the hoppers with chests. But yeah, it's 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 working a lot better. We're getting quite a bit out of there. And uh, Oxyblock has actually been hired to AFK there for me for a while. So yeah, he's gonna be uh just randomly just whenever whenever they can, they're gonna be on the uh, the AFK spots around my base, and I'm just gonna give give them a lot of little areas to do things, and they're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna get a ton of stuff in there. And the payment is they got one of the blends pass, which, yeah. So I've got four of them away now. And uh, yeah, look at this place. Check this out. Oh, I forgot to show you the side. I'm going to do that part too. Go right over here real quick. Going to float over here a little bit so you can see a little better. Check out what they've done to this. Oops, don't want to get sucked down into the, the magma cubes there. Got a nice big willow tree there. Look at that. That looks cool. You got this cave underneath here. It's just, this is all handmade. Isn't that really neat? Um, this little square on the side here is what we're going to be working on today. But yeah, they did a lot of work over here and they're not done yet. So looking forward to seeing what they're doing over here. Um, I did tell them I needed that little space right there. So I just mapped it out for them. But but they're going to be doing uh, a little bit more over in this area. But I think this looks awesome so far. That's a little creepy. I like it. I like the creepy stuff. So much cool stuff around here. They mix in the uh, basalt and the, the blackstone. They got these, this little graveyard here. Got the nice willow tree. Yeah, this place is really neat. Got the vines growing over there. Little splatters of blood occasionally. All right, so what we're working on is going to be using a lot of this right here. These hay bales. We are going to be making the maze today. So what I need to do is get a bunch of materials together and figure out I forgot all of my dirt. I don't have enough grass. That is unfortunate. I only have this much right here. I don't think that's going to be enough, but we'll see. But I have somewhere around here, I've got some more hay bales. I don't remember exactly where. I may have put them in this thing. No? I don't remember where I put it. Oh well. I got hay bales somewhere around here. I got more than that. Uh... Yeah, so let's go ahead and run out to the back here, and we actually need a... I'm going to redo this, too, because the inside, it looks pretty good, but from the outside, these windows are stupid looking. They're way too close to that thing, so I got a little bit more work to do on this. But for now, we're going to come out here. We are going to fill this whole thing up with some dirt and some grass and let it kind of turn into actual grass, because we're going to use a little bit of path blocks in there so nothing can spawn in there. And we are going to go ahead and make a maze, so let me just do that real quick. Okay, so making this maze, I'm going to have the entrance be right here. So this is where the entrance is going to be. And the exit, I think I'm going to have to put it um, probably on that side there just so they can get out and kind of like go back to the front of the house and stuff. And let's, let me take a look around the side and let's see what, what would work best. I'm going to have a maze come out there. Now, the trick is making a maze. Um, I was trying to use a like a generated, a maze generator kind of thing, but I, I needed to come out on the same side as the other one because every one I had would like start in one corner and then you'd come out on this corner and that's just way too big. I wanted to come back over this way because we're, we're dealing with a small amount of space here. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I've never tried to make a maze before. So I think I'm just going to, I don't know, just to see, see what happens. How do I get rid of this? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, so I've got the path in there. I don't want to show too much of this. You could probably figure it out without looking or with, by just looking at it. But yeah, this is the path. And now I'm just going to make some little holes in here and make some dead ends and stuff like that. So I also need to get some leaves because I'm going to just kind of surround it in some hedges just to make it look a little bit better. But we're going to worry about that some other time. Um, for now, 
yeah, let's just uh, let's just try to screw this maze up a little bit, make it a little harder for people. Okay, so I had to go back and get a whole bunch of leaves because I totally forgot to get that, and that's a nice view of the sunset going down there. But yeah, let me go back. I've got most of the maze done. I just got to put the uh, hedges maze around there, or the hedges around the maze, and all that kind of stuff, and maybe make it so no mobs can spawn in there. I'm not sure if they can spawn on hay bales or not, but they can't spawn on leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead. And, you see all those dolphins? That was crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of leaves on top of all the mazes too. Hopefully, I brought enough for that. But yeah. Let's go ahead and do that, and then that maze will be finished there. Somebody slept. Thank you for that. All right, so here it is. Definitely not decorated up yet. we got to finish all this stuff. But yeah, this is the maze, so you can come in here and try to figure your way out. Now, I built this, so I know the way out. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but it does get a little confusing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dead ends. There's a lot of, a lot of not the right ways to go. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully people like this, and they, they get some entertainment out of this. Now I'm lost. Yep, I'm lost now. I don't know where I am. Um, is this dead end? Um, oh, there it is. Oh, that's the beginning. See, I went the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that that's the maze. That, that part is completely done. Um, I don't think mobs can spawn on there. I'm going to look into that, but I don't think they can spawn on the hay bale. So it should be completely done with that. Now there's a couple other things that we got to do inside. Or actually, there's a lot of stuff I got to do inside. I got to make like a bunch of a bunch of rooms in here, and I got to put some jump scares in here, and a little door out to the maze, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, there definitely is not even close to being done yet. But I got to show you one other thing that I forgot to mention earlier that I did, and that is I made a shop. So let's run over to the uh, shopping district right over here, and I'll show you what that is. Okay, running along a little path here. There are plenty of shops going up, and mine is this big green one right here. This is the ooze. It's just a slime shop. And I checked it this morning to see if anybody bought some, and I sold a few slime. But let's see if we got anything else sold yet. Yeah, those are those three that I sold already. That's it so far. But yeah, there is plenty, there's plenty of slime in here, and I've got plenty more back at the base. Yeah, I thought I would just make it out of slime. I know the other slime shop that's on the server by uh, XP, I think, is like made out of green glass and it kind of looks like a slime cube and I just went more of like a, a booger shape because you know that's basically what slime is it's just a big booger so yeah that's the other one and then I actually beat their prices so they're matching my prices now I don't really want to go much lower than that I might do some uh deal if you get uh slime blocks instead of slime cubes maybe I'll sell because right now we're doing one uh diamond per slime block stack or slime cube slime, blah, 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 slime ball stack I can't say that one stack of slime balls is one diamond. Or maybe I'll do something like a stack of slime blocks is for like, I don't know, seven diamonds or something like that, just to get a little bit more business or a little more diamonds in there, a little bit better deal. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I definitely have plenty of slime to go around though. Um, But let's head back over here. Okay, now we must do what the cow says because we are absolutely going to be a part of this not a cult thing. So let's go ahead and get started on that. What we need to do is build a statue for the cow. Um, this is going to be a small statue because there's not a whole lot of space around here, but I think this spot right here is going to be pretty good. And just to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to put another one on this side here. So let's just go ahead and get started on it. Do this side first. Uh, it's going to be pretty small, so we're going to do it right here for the legs. Uh, I could probably get some of this stuff together here. There we go. Legs like that. And then on top of this, we're going to do a couple of different types of uh, stone, things like that. Let me get a mossy one. Um, yeah, there we go. Do that one there, do that here. I would give that guy a moss, um, moss back here. And then regular stone and regular stone. We'll see how that looks. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of these, uh, stairs here. There they are. Couldn't find them for a second. We're going to do this one here and this one here. We got to do top slabs just to make it so nothing can spawn up here too. So definitely want to do that there and there and then we're going to put this guy down here whoops I'll get those back there we go that looks pretty good and then a couple of more walls and then we are almost done with this there's one last finishing touch i need to do on it and uh, i i think that's the best part um right down here we're going to give it a couple udders because it's a cow because we're the brotherhood <laughs> the reason why it's called the brother or why i'm calling it the brotherhood is because when uh, I got a note on Discord saying that uh, they did this, and I'm, I'm yeah, I'm going to be in this part of this cult, and uh, they said, welcome, brother. You know, get it? Because udders and brother. I thought it was pretty clever. But yeah, that's my cow. It kind of looks more like a sheep at this, but that's going to be the cow. I think that works pretty good. Now we're going to do the other one right over here, and let's see. 
this one's going to be built into the wall a little bit, and there's a reason for it, um, which I will tell you about after we build it, and maybe not even this episode. We'll see. Kind of figure out what I actually I want to do with this first. I'm going to do that one there. Um, we're going to put grass there, and then let's just get all of our stuff back here. So we're going to do that guy here, this one, there, and there, not there. Jump up top and finish them off here. And then let's go ahead and get rid of all these guys. Put these things back. There we go. We're going to do uh, that one there, that there. Do a couple of these guys. Just like that. And then on the front, let's go ahead and get our walls back. Uh, there's wall, there's wall, a couple of buttons. Wall. Wall. And this button right here is going to be super important. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you what we're what the plan is here, and hopefully, hopefully nobody else that's not gonna be part of the Brotherhood is gonna see this. But this is gonna be an entrance right here to a secret base. This is gonna be where you stand here, you click that, you're gonna drop into the secret base. The uh, shrine to the the cow is gonna be down there or whatever. I don't really know what we're gonna do down there. I'm not gonna do it yet because we still need to finish terraforming this. Um, I know. I know there's going to be a lot more work on the outside of this place, so I don't really want to do it now because I don't want to give anybody any hints that there's going to be something down there. But yeah, that is a, that is going to be, a, you got a hole in the udder. Basically, you got to milk this cow to get into the secret base. So yeah, that's going to be a pretty fun. Um, the other guys in the, uh, the cult, the not a cult, don't know about that yet. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to show it to them. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to bring them over here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to do it that way. But yeah, we definitely got a lot done in this episode today. Um, I did a lot in between. Didn't film most of it, but yeah, you can even kind of see it from... Actually, let me go over to the hedge, hedge maze here. I know there's... You can see a little bit of a bit of my base from over here. Let's go check it out. But we still need to... Let me get all my stuff back. This isn't going to... This isn't going to do very well if I try to chop everything down with just blocks in my hand. But yeah, you can kind of see my base from here, I think. Let's see. Nope, not this spot. It was off in the corner. Anyway, you can see it from here because we got a ton done. But yeah, so I think that's all the time I got for this episode, though. So if you enjoyed this video, there we go, facing the right way. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.